So on March 12th of 2011, I uploaded my very first Airsoft Fort video, which is the one you see behind me, to my channel. Before that, I'd uploaded a couple videos that were unrelated. They were for school projects or just random videos. When I put out this first video, it was because I'd been looking online for ways to build Airsoft Forts, and I hadn't seen a whole lot of tutorials, so I wanted to start doing my own. And as you guys know, over the past six years, I've continued to make those videos, and I hope to be able to continue to make them in the future. But for you guys, in today's video, I just want to do something kind of special, come back to the same fort that we started with six years ago and go over what we've done to it. Since the last video that I've uploaded on this fort, we've done a couple modifications to the interior so I'll show you guys those and we'll go ahead and get started. So one of the first things you'll notice is that the bunk bed that used to be inside of it is now outside. I want to throw away the mattresses because they're disgusting and then we'll probably use this bunk bed frame as like another airsoft fort in the future. Then looking into the fort from the deck we can see where the bunk bed used to be. I've gone ahead and replaced this with the cot because that's a lot easier to disassemble for when we don't need it. And it also takes up a whole lot less space than the bunk bed used to and hopefully we'll be able to put that frame to more use. Below the north facing window is where I've stashed most of the tools. Then of course we have our gun wall on the left and then some broken guns in the back as well as two working shotguns. Above that we have a whiteboard that we used to have just on the ground and I've gone ahead and mounted it up and then to the right of that we have two spring rifles. On the bottom of the back wall we have that escape hatch that goes to the side that you saw in the beginning shot and then to the right of that we have a box with all of our gear in it. And then just above that we have a gun rack with most of our rifles. I have a couple more that I need to bring up here that are back in my room. And then just below the south facing window we have the shelving unit that houses some of our airsoft accessories and then some of our tools. That's about all the modifications that we've done to just kind of the inside cabin portion of the fort. Not too long ago though I made a modification to the ladder on the outside of the fort. If you guys would like to see how that was done I'll have a link in the description below to that video. But at this point in the video I'd just really like to take a moment to thank you guys for allowing me to do what I do on this channel and for supporting me through that for the last six years. It really means a lot to me when I see feedback on these videos and just to know that there are other people that enjoy this content as much as I do filming it. So honestly just thank you guys whether you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber I look forward to making more content for you guys. In the beginning of the video I mentioned that this was kind of like an anniversary video six years later so if you guys want to see the original video the very first one that I posted that kind of led to all this happening I'll have that in the link in the description below as well as a ante video at the end i guess it's on a card now but i think that's gonna be about it for today's video so as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one